Hey guys, welcome to a new devlog. In this video we're going to discuss items, how the system works, what makes it unique and how I managed to create a gameplay experience where finding new items feels incredibly rewarding, while losing items can feel like a true loss. When I began development of this game, my main goal was to create a 2D Souls-like experience and the game Moonscars was a great inspiration. I even managed to copy some of its mechanics, like weapons, battle system and some enemies. However, as with any development process, things can take unexpected turns. Making stat system and item system was taking me further away from Moonscars, but at the same time made my game more Souls-like than I expected. For those who hear my voice for the first time, nice to meet you. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it. Subscribe if you haven't and let's begin. I always wanted to make an RPG game. Since the day I created that crappy platformer with the fox, I just knew that one day I would do it. And no RPG game can be a true RPG without item system. Items that can modify your stats and give unique effects. Wow, well, I guess that's the dream. Really? That's the dream? Yeah. But how you make your item system interesting and what's important, unique. I guess good approach would be to take system that works from another game and spice it up by adding new key features. A little bit spicy. So I did. I have a system with craft and items that modify stats, but that's not new and it definitely does not make game more challenging. And I thought about it. How can I use item system to make it more souls-like? And there it was. The idea. Let's not go around in circles and just say that when you die, you can lose your crafting materials or items you have equipped. I guess it's my tribute to Lineage 2, the game I played a lot when I was a kid. In there, if you were a player killer who kills others, on your death you could lose your precious equipment. And when I thought of this idea, I knew I could kill two birds with one stone. So I figured out a way to kill two birds with one stone. Like this. I would not only give player that thrilling feeling that each battle is important, because hey, you can lose something you earned, but also it helps to cycle through different items. This will allow player to see more content even if he plays the game once. You die, you craft a new item and try new playstyle. You know there is a boss fight, you better gather some materials and craft some equipment, so you're ready for multiple tries. And each time you die, again, you can feel consequences. And consequences, one of the good aspects of Souls-like game. You can lose something, something that you earned something important. And the importance of the items to the player is affected by how difficult it is to get, how it makes you stronger and how special it is. That's why when you loot bunch of crap in open world game, you won't even bother to check what you picked up. But when you have just two swords and hey, you can lose one of them, finding a new item is totally another deal. What makes item even more precious is how they can change your playstyle. You see, mostly items in the games are boring. In Witcher 3 you find a new item that gives you a crit chance. Wow, never seen that before. And it doesn't mean it's not nice to enjoy your fully equipped character and I understand how progression with items works and makes game better. But it's just something about that doesn't make it feel so nice. When you get a new item, ah, plus 5 damage, alright. Another deal is a Bloodborne, where new equipment is not just a sword with new stats, but something that changes gameplay and your playstyle. Ok, now you might tell me, Alex, what are you talking about? You have only swords in your game and you have only like 3 attack animations. And yes, I know that. But still, I believe I did achieve that exact feeling that makes itemization a bit more exciting. Because I created system of unique items which can change your playstyle and as a result achieve feeling of a new experience every time you equip a new item. And on the top of that, you can see that unique item in a craft list and desire of getting that will keep you in the game, hopefully. I'm planning to create and balance more items later with the help of ChatGPT and I'll do video about that, boop the subscribe button to see how that goes. Also, if you like what you see and you want to make games like this one, check my website unityalexdev.com. It has complete step-by-step -step tutorials with best explanation possible. A bit more info on the system. You can create unique effects independently and attach these effects to any equipment you want to create. This effect can be triggered by doing hit, getting hit, pressing a button or anything else that comes to your mind. Besides, in my example, we have 4 slots, but system allows more if you want to do so. Now, let me show you a couple of examples of unique items I was talking about. These are tier 1 among let's say 4 tiers we're going to have. Ice and Fire, Thunderclaw, 
and fire and ice. And yes, these two are different. Thunderclaw can trigger a thunder strike on hit, even from your illusions, which can be a blast of excitement if you manage to find it. Now let's check ice and fire and fire and ice. They both give a unique effect that increases one of the stats on hit. And you might know from my last video about stat system that you apply highest element as a status effect. So your first hit would do ice damage, but after getting a couple of stacks, you will apply fire damage. On your third hit, you will shoot an ice and fire projectile, which means you would freeze enemies in front of you and burn enemies behind with the projectile. And that helps to kill group of monsters faster, or maybe kill enemies on distance. In opposite, fire and ice will help you to burn quickly biggest threat that is in front of you and control enemies behind so they won't interrupt your 1v1 battle. And yes, I understand, that does not change gameplay entirely, such as weapon system in a Bloodborne or Monster Hunter, but cut me some slack, I had only 3 animations. On paper, the concept I described works good, but will it work on practice? We'll know only once we can play the game. I encourage you to check my courses if you want to make your own video game, and remember, we don't play games, we make them.